I was working on my bow this morning and uh, I figured uh, I'd do a little video. I probably should have done it while I was working on it, but I didn't think about it because I just didn't think about it. So um, maybe in the future, if I, I got to take my rest off again soon. So maybe I'll do a video on that and just kind of show everything that I did. Uh, but I was having issues. I have a Hamsky uh, Epsilon right there. You see it? Hamsky. Epsilon, please ignore my dirty garage. Uh, I bought that the other day. I had the archery shop put it on. This is a reason why I think that as much as archery shops have complained every time I've gone in about, oh, YouTube videos or TikToks or whatever, you know, people think they can do things and they can't and there's a problem, but whatever. There's a lot of complaining about that. Uh, they did not put it on right. So... You know, it's nice to kind of be able to figure things out on your own to be able to fix this stuff. So basically it was wobbling back and forth. I noticed it when I first started shooting it. I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't figure out how to tighten it. And that's because I take the whole rest off to tighten it up. So there's two screws when you take it off uh, that tightened it down a little bit. Um, so that was helpful. Uh, they also put on this little football, which, you know, everybody does. I should have known better. I was having a real hard time, um, you know, where the arrow sits, keeping that sort of flat. Uh, on the on the rest even though it paper tuned just fine. I think it was causing some issues um, Been having a real hard time with air flight some of that's me, but the rest wobbling all around doesn't help uh, Really struggle with with figuring out kept trying to tighten this down, you know moving the the cable because I or the you know the, yeah the the uh, The string because I know that that can loosen up over time uh, still couldn't get it tight enough. So I did a Prusik knot here um, so this can slide up and down, but it keeps it real tight. Now this is really tight. So way better. I did that on my wife's, uh, limb driven when I installed her vapor trail. I should have done it on mine, but I just did what the shop did. Uh, you know, they, it's just what they normally do and I get it. But, uh, hopefully now when I paper tune and I go out and shoot, at least this will not be an issue. Again, I'm still an issue, but this will not be an issue. Um, but this is again, a good lesson of like, check your stuff, figure out how to do a few things yourself. Again, shops that I've been to seem to complain about that, but I do think it's good. Maybe you don't want to mess with the cables right now, but doing things like your rest and your site and all of that, you should be able to do, uh, check out, uh, I think it's average Jack archery. That's where the Prusik knot, uh, video that I use came from. Great video. Uh, it's titled, you know, best, I think limb driven cord method. So I'm sure you can find it. Highly recommend checking out. Get rid of this thing. Just don't. It's just not really good. All right.